Hello, Mike Senna here, and we're doing the third and final video for this series on the Talon 4. So let's just start with the drive system. So this right here, the stick is, is to move the robot forward, reverse, right and left. And this is uh, an interesting bank of, of uh, turn pots here. Uh, the, f the one, the lowest one here corresponds to the drive. This will actually, if I turn it up to max, it will allow the robot to drive as fast as it can. Um, I can put it in the middle and I'll get more uh, sensitive control of it. Um, and just depending on this, uh, turning this, I can uh, adjust the speed to of, of motion and actions to best fit my situation. So I'm gonna move him forward and then just do a little turn. So what is the maximum speed? It's kind of scary. So I've been thinking on the grass here and just giving a little push. We're going to turn up the speed and we're going to go. So that's the next one. Speed. It's kind of fast. It's kind of scary, but I guess if you're in an, a, a wider open area, you probably want to be that fast. And of course, depending on your situation, you want to be that fast. So let's take a look at some of the other controls. Um, the arm controller right here, you see the upper arm and the lower arm. Uh, and this is primarily for the front arm. So the lower arm, I can extend it or bring it towards me. The upper arm, we can raise it or lower it, depending on how close uh, we want to get to whatever object we're going to pick up. And while we're here, we might as well show you the gripper. So the gripper, we can open and close the gripper here and we can rotate the wrist here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rotate it so you can see the gripper. And I'm going to close it and open it. So you can see at the speed it's, it's being geared at, uh, the gripper is pretty powerful. Um, now in the end here, which is one of the things I like about this thing is my gripper now is not really in a good position to grip anything because it's really not in a fully uh, operational position. It's, it's off to the side. And if I try to grab something, it's, it's going to um, uh, not bode well. So there's a wrist home here. And if I push this button to the wrist home, it'll take it to back to center. Um, then there is the rear um, arm. And this is the actually the camera part of that arm. Uh, we can look right or left, and we can look up and down. And like I said, we can also turn on that light to the top to see better at night. And this also has a pan tilt home. So if I hit the pan tilt home, it'll home it to straight forward. So on the rear uh, mast that has that camera, that we've been panning and tilting. We can also move that mast up and down. Um, 
to be able to view things. Uh, we can spin the camera around and get a close-up of the rear. And do a search of the surrounding areas. So this actually tilts pretty much all the way down on that way and all the way forward this way. Um, it's I've kind of used it in the past for bringing the camera down at this level to see where I'm driving and it'll give me a better uh, lay of the land as far as um, where I'm driving and what obstacles are around the front of the machine. Um, so that's what I've been using it for. It's kind of is uh, it's very handy in that way. So as we have the drive speed control, we also have the pan tilt on the wrist speed control. So we can turn that up or we can turn that down. And the arm itself, we can go faster or at a medium pace. Um, and of course, as I was saying, there's different homing, pan tilt home, which will home the rear camera, uh, the wrist home, which will come make it go to its homing position. And that's about it for the controls. We'll notice here on the video, that there's a camera selector. So we have it on four way right now. I can focus on the front camera. I can focus on the camera that's on the elbow of the machine. Or I can focus on the gripper or the rear. Uh, or I can just look at it four way position with all the cameras. Um, there's another interesting thing that I have not yet experimented with. I found the the output over there with the, with the cable, but I wanna see if it's a simple on off type of switch. But there's this fire control here so basically what you can do is, is what they could do I can't do it because I don't have the, the uh, proper connectors but they can connect a weapon on this arm and actually move it up and down for firing so what they do have here is they would turn this uh, safety uh, to uh, using the keys that are in here to channel one or channel two. And I guess you can mount weapons to each of these channels to activate this channel. You can flip then these controllers up and you can arm that channel. And then you can push this button to fire. So like I said, I haven't experimented with that yet. But um, I'm going to be opening up the uh, that part of the box or that part of the cable to see what signals I can tap off of in there. Um, and that's the basic controls. And uh, I guess this is where we'll show you a situation where I guess you'll be grabbing something suspicious looking it and put it into a safety receptacle. Um, I've got my cameras set up where I like them. My rear camera, as I was telling you before, sees the front of the machine. And uh, so I'll approach our suspicious package and use the arms to Get up.
and then I'll close the gripper. Now I can apply a lot of force on these grippers, uh, but we're going to treat this delicately. We'll lift our suspicious package and drive it to the receptacle. And then we'll lower it and drop it. Well, that's as easy as that. And our bomb is disposed of. Hope you like this series and um, hope you like this uh, demonstration of this bomb disposal robot. Chickens, shut up. And I might be disposing of some chickens next, so stay tuned.